two about to lock horns. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de Pass. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It's Paris Saint Germain up against Rennes. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Great atmosphere here. The two sides, I'm sure, will set a quick tempo in this game. We get to watch for free. The players are chomping at the bit. I can't wait. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Kaylon Navas starts in goal. Presnel Kimpembe plays along. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. Underway once more. And it's going to be interesting to see whether or not PSG can articulate an appropriate reply. I believe there's been a goal on the Monaco game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Nice. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. What a terrific position to be in, Lee. Oh, it's brilliant. I remember back in 98, we won it with two to go and then got smashed by Liverpool 4-0 at Anfield. Safe to say we weren't on our best that night, Derek. He's lost it. Cuts it back, takes it on. What a vital intervention. Di Maria. Mauro Icardi here. Cross blocked. And out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. Di Maria. Icardi. Now Verratti. Neymar! Well, flinging himself at it. And let's join Alan McAnally now, because I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Saint-Étienne game. Alan, well, punch happy, the keeper. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, his angles were all right. His reactions were superb. Great goalkeeping. And clears his lines. Well, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. The delivery from Neymar. It's gone in. A goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent set piece, and it's good, solid technique to get his header on target, but it's only because of the lack of challenge from the defenders. Really poor, that is, I have to say. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alan. To confirm, Lille have scored in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. Played into the centre of the box. Well, that was anything but a textbook header, Lee. Well, to be fair to him, it's not the easiest of chances. Just caught you off the top of his head, really. And news of a goal on the Saint-Étienne game. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Lille. It's been scored by Burak Yilmaz. He made no mistake after latching on to a long ball, hit more in hope than guile. 
25 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mbappe. Now Verratti. Neymar! And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, as we see again here, the damage he started with a beauty of a through ball, but most of the blame has to be levelled at the goalkeeper. Your coach is a youngster to always protect your near post, and he just didn't do that and paid the price. And so, back playing again, PSG with the lead. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Mbe Niang. Oh, showing excellent vision, and he's in. No spillage from the goalkeeper, routine. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Can they get in behind them? Jeremy Doku. Oh, big opportunity! Great block. And over comes the corner. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. White. Here's Burigo. Oh, in with a chance! No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the replay, and I enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. Well, it's not easy being a manager, and that's why they've let him down a bit there. But for Rennes, Once again, the sides are level. It's a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Right, there's been a goal at the Groupama Stadium. Alan McAnally has details. It's a goal for Lyon. 39 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Mbappe. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And continues his run. Mbappe into the middle. And an effective clearance. Verratti. Mauro Icardi here. On to Di Maria. Verratti. Could take the lead. Going for the dink. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, Derek, the chip was always on. Keeper caught in no man's land, but it's still a difficult skill, and it's a lovely finish. 3-2 it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Kamavinga. It looks promising. Malcolm Pembe was on top of it. Icardi. And that is that for the first half here. Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Traore. Maxence Kakere. Faitou Mawasa. Kakere. Traore with it. Mbe Niang. Well read to put an end to that attack. Marquinhos. Excellent first half from Neymar in this game, Lee. 
Well, if he plays like that in the second half, we're in for a real treat. He's scored, he's direct, creative, and he unnerves defenders. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Kakere. It's with Bourigo. Maxence Kakere. And news of a goal on the Saint Etienne game. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Lille. 55 minutes played. 3 0. Alan McAnally. He just needs to keep a cool head. Lorenzi. Here's Mbappe. A very good tackle. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Maxence Kakere. White. A league that's always technically very sound, Liga. And a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Paris Saint Germain facing Dijon. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Traore. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. But then there's still plenty to do. You have to say it's a really nice finish just to guide it into the net. Lovely goal. Once again, the sides are level. It's a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Here's Burigo. Now, let's see what they can do here. Jeremy Doku. Can they get in behind them? Kakere. A oh, terrific pass. And a textbook interception. Well, Derek, both teams have had equal amounts of the ball. Both possession stats should be the same. The defences have both been really stretched. Florenzi. Icardi. Mano Icardi here. High quality defending. And let's join Alan McAnally now because I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Saint Etienne game. Alan. It's another goal for Lille. 70 minutes played, 4-0. Many thanks, Alan. Paredes. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Neymar, tremendous block. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Icardi. Di Maria. Now, what can they do from here? Mbappe. 
Good defending to prevent the chance. So a throw in here. Just 10 minutes to go. Icardi. Velassi. Dangerous looking attack. Kimpembe. Let's go now to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the game at the Groupama Stadium. Alan? It's a goal for the visitors. Seven minutes remain. Wonderful chance. What late excitement. And the match is level. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And five minutes to go. Tagliafico. PSG on the attack as the minutes tick away. What can they do in the closing phase? It's with Bourigo. In possession, Flavio Tai. He's given it away. Well, high marks for that pass. Cross played over, but no one can latch onto the ball. Eduardo Camavinga. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Icardi. Di Maria. Here's Marquinhos. Mbappe. Progressive football from... And that is that. Full time here and a draw. The two teams couldn't be separated. Lee, what did you make of the visitors' performance? Well, Derek, it's a lesson for any youngster out there watching. Play to the final whistle. They thought the three points was in the bag. And then a lack of concentration and two points fly away into the distance. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he's played so well today and got the goal.